and of course the neck, the neck people, take care of your necks. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Iman and today I will share with you my updated skincare face care routine so morning and night uh, it's different but one thing about me and skincare is that i always go for something super easy so mine is three steps because i know anything above that i'm not going to do it uh, it's going to be very difficult to stay consistent with it so three steps i feel like it's really all you need so i'm going to start with the morning routine so right now just um, finished my shower, I finished brushing my teeth, getting my hair together. Skincare is the kind of the last step. Well, the last step is really like perfume, but skincare is really what I do after like showering, brushing my teeth, etc. Because I don't want the water to mess up my face. And also, my um, skincare routine, my face care routine is non rinse, so I don't use anything that uh, rinses off. At this at the moment i usually don't prefer to use a uh, foaming cleansers so step one for me is cleansing of course and the so what i use is this it's the bioderma micellar water i've been using it for years it's super easy to use it's super effective and a lot of people think that this is only a makeup remover which it really is not it's basically a cleanser first and it so happens that it's very effective on makeup. So what you do is you get the I get the micellar water, a cotton pad. I soak my cotton pad, and then I go over my face. So uh, a lot of people also believe that either you shouldn't cleanse your skin, or especially in the morning, people tend to think that you should only cleanse your skin after a day after the day and a lot of people actually just use water that's wrong that is so wrong also yes don't forget to clean your neck that is so wrong because during the night not only because you have your products that you've put to work on your skin during the night but also because your skin works at night so it's going to um eliminate toxins and all of that so you need to cleanse your skin for your skin to be fresh so that in the morning when you apply your new product your canvas is blank pretty much so i use one cotton pad and then i reverse it and you can see as it's not just like i didn't get really much pollution at night i was sleeping but you can see my cotton pad is like you you see traces so this is Side one and side two, that's when, what I used to perfect. So for me, one cotton pad is enough. And again, don't forget your neck behind your ears and all of that, always great to have. Step number two uh, for the day is uh, my moisturizer. So I've been using this for some time now and I really, really love it. It's the Glow Hub Nourish and Hydrate Gel Moisturizer. So. I really like this and what made me choose this one is really the texture because I, it's super hot lately in Abidjan. Okay, this doesn't want to open. Sorry. So it's super hot lately in Abidjan. So I really wanted a gel kind of texture and this one is so like refreshing and it smells very nice. It smells like peach and coconut so i just put not a lot really a little bit and then i go face all over my face and of course the neck the neck people take care of your necks and then i just go all over my face with it super easy and because again I, my skin type is more like normal dry i love something that's hydrating moisturizing um but yet i also like something that's light for the day because there's a lot of sun it's super hot and also because well i don't wear makeup but i feel like if you're going to put something very rich and then you put makeup 
our skin is going to have issues it's not going to be able to breathe so yeah see it's super light you don't really get any traces you get you still get the glow you get the glow so i'm done it's super easy and step three my good people please 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 put your spf put a sunscreen especially here we are in africa people it's sunny outside so i've been actually using spf in my skincare routine since i was living in canada i it's just like one day i got um it was a gift i think yeah it was a gift it was a moisturizer that had sunscreen in it i've been using it and at that time i didn't even know it was important to have spf but ever since then i've been using spf and this one is the latest spf i've been trying it's called black girl sunscreen so uh i really have been seeing it on social media um not available here in abidjan so it's one of my friends that got it for me in the uk and brought it back for me um it's infused with jojoba oil and avocado sounds like a plan to me and why i really wanted to try this one out because it says black girl sunscreen so i was like for sure for sure it has to be a sunscreen that doesn't give you the white cast and all of that so really Right now, today, I, uh, yeah, I'm going out later on. So I know a lot of people don't put the SPF. Even I sometimes feel lazy and don't put the SPF if I'm not going out. But if, I mean, right now my window is open. It's pretty sunny, so it's never bad. And again, my step, my routine is three steps, so I really can't get any lazier. Lazier. So I just put it. All over my face you can see you don't get the white cast like on my forehead is just because I didn't put it properly it smells nice it's really smells like sunscreen it smells like I'm ready to go to the beach I still do my neck I don't care I do my neck and I'm done and this one I don't know if this yes it, this one is also face and body so if ever i'm going to the beach i'll be using that for sure and hydration is not just your face and your neck you have to do it also for your lips people get your lips together so today i just feel like being a little fancy because i'm going out uh, to run some errands so i'm going to put the fanny beauty pro kisser balm and that's going to be this one is like the pinkish color it's called Pinch Me, and it's really like a nudish color. So of course I don't wear this one every day. I'm just feeling really fancy today because I'm going out um, to run some errands, although I have my mask on, so that's kind of pointless. Nobody's going to see it, but I feel good about it. That's all that matters. So see you tonight for the nighttime skincare face care routine many hours later hey guys so i am back for the nighttime skincare routine right now it's about 8 30 so i finished eating i showered brushed my teeth and now time for the skincare routine of course um in the past few months i've been doing my skincare routine earlier than i used to for two reasons first it's because um i think that the earlier you cleanse your skin, the earlier you do your skincare routine and cleanse your skin, the less time um, pollution and particles and um, toxins will spend in your skin, so the less damage they'll be able to cause. And second, because I used to really do my skincare routine very, very late, just right before going to bed, which is not such a good idea because the products are going to rub off on your sheets so you're not going to get the benefit you need from them so that's why now i do it earlier and it's been going great i eat very early usually around 7 7 30 i'm done so 8 30 9 ish is great for me to do my skincare routine so same as the morning routine it's three steps they are just a little different than in the morning because i feel like at night your skin has different needs because it's going to be working and restoring and all of that like just resetting so it needs 
more like active and more uh, richness but first like always we cleanse so for me it's still using my micellar water so same as the morning um, I use it the same way cotton pad damp it go over my face now I believe it's going to be a lot darker than it was in the morning of course because I've been out I've been exposed to pollution oh actually it's not that bad it's not that bad I'm still doing my neck it's actually I think maybe it's better than it was this morning interesting maybe I, I didn't get that much pollution but yeah it looks maybe a little lighter than it was in the morning so my skin did not catch that much pollution now in at night my step two is actually um, the toner uh, in the morning I feel like having something very light and fresh uh, so I don't use a toner also because my micellar water this one kind of has a toning effect to it so I don't need a full-blown toner uh, for in the morning but at night I do tone and my toner my toner at the moment is still the ordinary, so the glycolic acid toning solution. Um, it's a good one. It's not my favorite. I actually got my favorite back in stock. So in my next update, stay tuned for my next update. I'll show you which one is my ultimate favorite. It's just that this one was easier to get while I was here because it's more sold. So same as the micellar water, I just dampen my... Um, cotton pad and then I go over my face sorry um, the video cut so what I was saying is that the role of the toner is first to perfect your cleansing and second to prepare your skin for your care product for your moisturizer so step three is moisturizer of course currently I'm using I've been using um, First, the hydrating serum. This one is from Beauty Bakes. It's the Skin Hit Hydrating Serum with Hyaluronic Acid and Glycogen. And then I associate it with, um, again, from Beauty Bay, the first class rich moisturizer with oatmeal and oat lipid. So I know um, a lot of people use the serum first and then put the cream on top of it I just put drops of my serum in my moisturizer because it's quicker again I want to keep my three-step routine and the reason why I prefer a richer kind of texture at night is because I feel like at night your skin is really working so it needs something richer that's going to help with nourishing and hydrating deeper so uh, let me show you the texture of this one. It's very, very rich. You can see it doesn't really move. That's perfect. That's exactly what I need because I, again, I have normal dry skin. So uh, what I do is I just take really a bit of product, not too much again. And then I put two drops of the serum. Then I rub everything in. So I rub it all in my hands. Then I'm going to be applying it on all of my face. And I do. I insist on the under eye circles. And although they don't really bother me, like everybody has under eye circles. Do the neck also. And I like doing this little motion. I heard it. It helps with blood circulation and all of that. And really, we all need a good blood circulation for everything to be right and healthy. And moisture and hydration, don't forget your lips. So currently I've been using the Revolution Vanilla Lip Sleeping Mask. Really, uh, it, I, that's just for fun, I just wanted to try. 
it's a little glossy like the texture is super interesting but really i used to just put chili butter and that's just as good this one is a little shiny it's kind of a glossy texture and it smells nice but really she better does so that's it i'm ready to go to uh, my room and finish have a enjoy my night watch a docu and then sleep in like one or two hours thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week bye bye